Welcome to the Auxiliary Power Unit lesson. In this lesson, you will learn about the APU system components, as well as how the system is controlled and monitored. Additionally, normal and abnormal indications will be presented. The APU is a self-contained gas turbine engine that can provide a primary or backup source of electrical power and bleed air. It is located within a fireproof compartment in the lower portion of the unpressurized tail cone. A dedicated computer controls and monitors APU operation. Controls and indicators for the APU are located throughout the flight deck. The APU systems page displays indications for the APU generator, bleed, APU end speed, and EGT. Additional APU controls are located outside the flight deck on the external power panel located near the nose gear. The APU is a single shaft gas turbine. It produces bleed air and mechanically drives an accessory gearbox, which in turn drives the APU generator. The APU is controlled by a full authority digital computer referred to as the Electronic Control Box or ECB. The ECB performs the following functions. Start and shutdown sequencing. APU end speed and EGT monitoring bleed air output monitoring, and fault monitoring and reporting. Ambient air is routed to the APU compressor through an electrically operated air intake flap. The intake flap is commanded to open by the ECB when the APU master switch push button is selected on. When the intake flap is fully open, a green flap open message appears on the APU system page. Air flows through the intake flap and into the compressor section of the APU engine. After combustion, it is expelled out the exhaust duct in the tail cone. When the APU is shut down, the intake flap automatically closes. The APU has an independent oil system for lubrication and cooling. If the APU oil quantity drops below a preset amount, a low oil level message displays on the APU page. If the APU is running, low oil quantity will not cause the APU to shut down. Unlike low oil quantity, a message is not displayed for low oil pressure. Instead, the ECB directs the APU to automatically shut down. The ECB controls fuel flow to the APU. The APU fuel supply line is directly connected to the engine one feed line. Normally, the inner cell of the left wing tank supplies fuel to the APU. If there is no fuel pressure in the engine one feed line when the APU master switch push button is selected on, the ECB energizes a dedicated APU DC fuel pump. This pump can be electrically powered even if the aircraft is operating on battery power only. There are no flight deck indications of the operation of the APU fuel pump. When the engine one fuel line is pressurized by fuel system pumps, the ECB shuts down the APU fuel pump. In the event fuel pressure is not sufficient for APU operation, the message fuel low pressure appears on the APU page and the APU automatically shuts down. 
The APU requires electrical power for starting. The ECB and starter motor are powered by the DC battery bus, which require that the batteries are selected to auto. Once the APU is running, the batteries are normally left in the auto position, allowing for automatic fire protection capabilities. The flight crew controls the APU using the APU master switch push button and the APU start push button. The APU master switch push button controls the electric power supply to the APU and turns on the ECB. Select the APU master switch push button. The blue on light illuminates in the push button and the APU system page appears automatically if AC power is established. The APU page must be checked prior to initiating the start sequence to ensure that a low oil level message is not displayed. After the ECB performs a power-up self-test, the air intake flap opens and fuel flows to the APU. The start push button engages the APU electric starter. Press the start push button. The on light illuminates, indicating the APU is starting. Although not normally required, monitor the APU start indications. At 95% N, the on light extinguishes and a veil appears on both the push button and the APU page. At the same time, the APU avail memo message appears on the EWD. This indicates that bleed air and electrical power are now available. The APU master switch push button is also used as the normal method for shutting down the APU. Select the APU master switch push button off. The APU now begins the shutdown sequence. The on light extinguishes in the APU master switch push button and the air inlet flap closes after the shutdown sequence is complete. The APU is monitored on the APU systems page. The APU turbine speed or N speed is displayed in an analog and digital format. N speed is displayed in green while in the normal operating range and changes to amber if a preset high limit is exceeded. If the N speed further exceeds an operational limit, the indications change to red and the ECB automatically shuts down the APU. The maximum EGT computed by the ECB is displayed on the ECAM as a red line. During start, the ECB computes the maximum EGT based on the end speed. After the APU is started, the maximum EGT is a function of the ambient temperature. The amber line indicates 33 degrees below the maximum EGT. Once the maximum EGT is reached at the red line, the ECB will automatically shut down the APU. The APU is equipped with a generator that is capable of powering the entire electrical system both on the ground and in flight. The APU generator has the same power output as each of the engine-driven generators. Because the APU operates in a relatively narrow RPM range, a constant speed drive is not required. 
The APU generator push button on the electrical panel can be used to manually control the APU generator. It is normally left in the lights out position to allow for automatic operation. The status of the APU generator and the electrical power output is displayed on the APU page. Turn off the APU generator using the APU Gen push button. The off light on the push button and the off indication on the display indicate the APU generator has been manually selected off. The APU can supply bleed air used for engine starts and air conditioning while on the ground or in flight. The APU bleed duct is connected to the left side of the aircraft's pneumatic system. The APU bleed push button controls the APU bleed valve when the APU is running. Select the APU bleed push button on. The blue on light illuminates in the push button to indicate APU bleed air has been selected on. APU bleed air has priority over engine bleed air. Notice that the engine bleed air valves close automatically when APU bleed air is selected. Although bleed air from the APU can be routed to the wings for anti-icing, the APU does not provide sufficient heat to safely anti-ice the wings. The use of APU bleed air for wing anti-icing is therefore prohibited. APU bleed air indications are displayed on the APU page. When APU bleed air is in use, the APU bleed valve is open and the arrowhead appears. The APU bleed air pressure value is also displayed. This value is calculated by the ECB using ambient pressure from the ADIRU2. Therefore, Amber X is display if ADIRU2 is not available. Additionally, when APU bleed air is in use, APU bleed replaces APU avail on the memo section of the EWD. Turn off APU bleed air and observe the indications. The APU is housed in a fireproof compartment. For fire detection and protection, a dual loop sensor and a single halon bottle are installed in the APU compartment. Fire detection and protection is available whenever the DC battery bus is powered. Therefore, the system is operational and an APU fire test can be performed on battery power only. On the ground, when a fire is detected, the APU automatically shuts down and the halon extinguisher is automatically discharged. The indications of an APU fire outside the flight deck are the external horn located at the nose gear sounds, and the APU firelight on the external power panel illuminates. The guarded APU shutoff switch is used to shut down the APU from the exterior of the aircraft. However, using this switch does not cause the APU Halon fire bottle to discharge. When an APU fire is detected in flight, the ECB will not perform an automatic shutdown. The flight crew must manually shut down the APU in accordance with the emergency procedure. In certain circumstances, on the ground or in flight, the APU automatically shuts down without a cooling period. If an automatic shutdown occurs, the avail light in the start push button extinguishes and the fault light in the APU master switch push button illuminates.
an emergency shutdown of the APU may be initiated either manually or automatically. A manual emergency shutdown of the APU is initiated by the flight crew pushing the APU fire push button or the ground crew pushing the APU shutoff push button on the external power panel. The ECB initiates an automatic emergency shutdown of the APU in the event of an APU fire on the ground. This feature permits APU ground operation without supervision. The APU may be started with normal AC power supply and operated up to the maximum certified pressure altitude of 39,000 feet. The maximum altitude for a battery start of the APU is 25,000 feet, and once started, may be used up to the maximum certified pressure altitude. APU bleed air is available up to 22,500 feet. The maximum pressure altitude for an APU ground start and ground operation is 14,500 feet. The APU starter motor duty cycle is three consecutive start attempts with one minute cooling between each attempt. After the third start attempt, a 60 minute period must be allowed for cooling. The maximum normal operating limits for the APU are as follows. That is incorrect. That is correct. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. That is correct. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. That is incorrect.